can also get eventually a CS degree from BITS. How is that possible? So let's say the person got 260 marks. Mm -hmm. He got admitted into MSc Biology. Right. So or MSc, uh, let's say MSc Maths or MSc Eco, any course he can right. choose. And in the uh, on basis of his first year CGPA, he will get right. his second branch, and that can be any branch. Like there are almost 40, 50 seats uh, for CS also. So okay. We and everyone will get a second degree. It's not like I got very less CGPA, I will not get a second degree. No, you will get a second degree, mm -hmm. but that's purely on basis of CGPA. CGPA. And, so, but something. Uh, uh, so, sometimes there will be just only one or two odd seats, and there will be then fight among thousands. So, is it just one or odd two two seats, or it's like around 20, 25 seats for let's say computer science? How, how so, is that scenario? Actually, the stats is that 50% students are in the single degree in their first year and 50% uh, students are in their uh, dual degree. So, in the dual, you will get a branch of dual. So, nearly 50 seats are in CS, nearly 50 seats are in Tripoli. So, it's okay. a big number. Oh, okay. So, that means there is a lot of to still to get if you work really hard in your first year based on the CGP. You can still decide what would be your major uh, after so you graduate. The cutoff was 8.4 for CS. Oh, okay. So, and it's not that hard to get 8.4, like <laughs> if you really study. Okay. Okay. Don't, uh, I don't think so that it is that easy uh, coming from a backbencher. So 8.4 is always a big deal. I always had 6.4. So I can't comment on that. Okay. So uh, 